I say shut up. Yeah. That. You recording it? Yeah. Okay. You record top of the area of the top of the area of the engine, like the engine uh, cylinder block. Yeah, uh, on other takes. All right, cool. Should be some on there. You recording now? Yeah. Okay, start I'm starting right now. All right. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today I have this DB15 engine and I was saying before in my other video, then this engine had a problem, then a compression was leaking to the uh, coolant system which is the tank here. You can see bubbles um, going on and everything. And also it was blowing smoke uh, to uh, the crankcase system with coolant in the oil as well. So uh, the engine is completely apart. And uh, thanks to that, we have uh, the ability to appreciate the damage that we have on this uh, engine. And of course, right, if you really want to know the damage, you have to take the engine apart. There is no way you're gonna be able to see the damage because this damage is internal. Of course, taking the engine apart requires to remove a comp couple components here in the bottom and the top until you get to the cylinder block. And then it's when you wanna be able to remove the cylinders or whatever is the damage in, 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 in this vehicle. So in this case, the uh, situation happens then uh, we have a lot of rust. This engine internally has a lot of rust and this can happen because it was uh, using a lot of water, just water. And uh, that's the reason why it's very important when you are uh, driving your trucks over the road, I would be sure that you are using coolant. Coolant is not just a component to maintain lower temperatures, but also it's a component that allows you to maintain all these metal pieces without rust. Any type of rust can destroy uh, any internal component of the engine since this water stays all the time in there and eventually is going to destroy the walls, cylinder heads, and other components that are very fragile. Now, talking about the engine, um, the reason why I say we have a lot of rust in it because on, top, on the top of the engine, cylinder head, spin closer, uh, we have a lot of rust. You can see all this is rust. See, all that is rust because there is water presence all over the place. The cylinders are still in place. We haven't removed them yet, but we are about to remove them. And uh, we can see all that. So that means then water was present most of the time. And this was the cause of the major issue there is high pressure on the coolant system, which is compression leak. And that is because of the head gasket failure. So here we have the head, the head uh, uh, had to be removed for that. And here we have the head gasket. The head gasket has a broken lip over here. All this is broken and this is due a damage then corrosion created. All this is damaged. And you can see the marks over here, see? The exhaust mark then was leaking completely to the coolant system. This was the reason why we were getting high compression in the coolant system, and that was the reason why this engine suffered from broken radiators and broken hoses as well. That doesn't mean that the problem stops here. Here is the cylinder head. The cylinder head has to be inspected because uh, we don't know the kind of damage we're going to present on this cylinder head. So this cylinder head has to be taken to a place where it has to be inspected on the bottom part of the cylinder head and also resurface the head and repair the cylinder valves as well. This is part of the, of the job that has to be done when you are doing a full overhaul, just remember that. And uh, also uh, we have, um, we have to know then we are going to do the full overhaul. So that means then we have to replace all the cylinder linings and the pistons. And, uh, and as I say, I, I've already shown in many of my other videos, uh, pistons and cylinder linings broken and everything, but you know, it's never, um, it's never a bad idea to show you again. So here we have one of the cylinder liners that came off this engine and we can see damage on that. So you can see this, this is, a seal and this seal is completely bad you can see it is completely destroyed because of the 
corrosion that happened internally in the coolant system. In the bottom part, the cylinder, the seal over here is okay. Usually the seal never goes bad. Usually is where the cylinder cracks. You can see where it stains, where it marks here. See, that's water. So this is the reason why we were having cool coolant in the uh, oil system, in the coolant system. And, um, and also, if we see closely, we can see cracks on the seal. So this is a contribution why we were getting coolant on top of the gasket. So the seal wasn't sealing properly. So it was leaking to the top of the cylinder and that created the corrosion then we could appreciate here on the top of the cylinders. Cylinder, I mean the, cylind the engine cylinders, I mean the engine block and the cylinders. Also piston, in this case the piston right here doesn't present any damage and uh, we don't have damage in the piston at all. We can see the bearings and the bearings are in a good condition. We don't have the the bearings are not in a bad condition. We can see a little scratch over here that scratch. It's a long scratch that goes across the bearing, but that is because probably something went in and uh, scratched the, the bearing. But then after that, there is no other damage present on the bearing, which is good because this engine was running in a good condition. We can see some damage, some bends. See those little bends over here on the connecting rod all these and little things like little marks little taps then happen before so it will be a good idea to remove i mean to replace these connecting rods because they already have some damage present but it is not um, something that must be done but also we can see based on the marks then we have see these marks right here those marks means then these uh, connecting rods bearings were replaced so that's the reason why we have good connecting bearings because they were replaced in the past and we don't have that much in them so um, we can see uh, we can inspect the uh, condition of the engine that's the reason why it is very important to go through the inspection of the engine completely and then uh, seeing uh, what kind of problems we're presenting on uh, what kind of problems we have to repair on an engine overhaul. In this case, it's not going to be bigger problems than just doing a basic overhaul. And that is basic overhaul is going to actually, uh, um, is going to uh, tell us then we also have to resurface the cylinder block. And I, I show on my videos too, how to do the cylinder block surface. And um, I, I have all that on my videos. So you can see a full list of videos on how to maintain these trucks working perfectly. And that, that's part of my um, day by day operation that I do here at the shop. Um, uh, well, now knowing what we're gonna do, it is just time to buy all the parts. And um, it will depend up to you to decide what part you're gonna get, OEM, aftermarket, but uh, I will just suggest to go OEM because OEM is the best. It will, it will, it will give you the best uh, peace of mind when you are uh, over 500,000 miles after the engine repair. But if your budget doesn't allow you to buy OEM, just buy aftermarket, but just be sure that the labor is done properly. That way you, your money is invested properly and you can get the maximum amount of uh, investment out of the money you already invest on that vehicle. But up to right now, this is an update I have on this engine. And as you can see, we have many different engines here. And some of them are broken. Some of them are uh, broken on the cylinder. Some of them are broken on the crankshaft. And some, some of them are just uh, not... Um, some of them are just like not able to repair because the uh, cylinder blocks are completely destroyed as this one right here. Just to give you an idea, right? See, as that one right there is completely broken, completely destroyed. It's almost cut in half, so there is no way to repair it. And uh, I believe this part is completely disconnected. See, you can see the crack all the way here. See? See, the cracks goes all the way to the top. So this engine cannot be repaired, can, you cannot do nothing to the engine. So these are the cases when the um, owner of the truck doesn't pay much attention to the engine and never do service to the engine or they do bad repairs too and something like this will happen. So don't ever let this to happen to your, uh, to your truck because that will be expensive. But to right now, this is all I'm going to be talking about. And uh, if, as always, if you have any questions about these engines, just comment below. I have 
many videos about it too and you can see uh, many of my videos about it probably those questions can be solved by seeing my videos that I have talking about these drugs and also it's very important that if you want and you have their answers for the questions and all their subscribers are asking it's very important that you just answer them that way they can uh, resolve their doubts pretty easy and you will be helping them on the uh, quest on repairing their trucks and having these trucks over the road if you want to see me directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube you can ask me anything directly uh, you can uh, uh, you can see all the things that i'm doing there and uh and, uh, and who knows uh, you can see me one day probably on the street and probably we can get together and talk and whatever so anyway uh subscribe to the channel like the videos and thank you for watching